Significant chronic pelvic pain is a predictable health complication for these women. Often it is disabling. Extreme discomfort can be experienced just by touch to the labia or rectum. Muscle spasms are a common source of pain and include pelvic floor spasms or obturator muscle spasms. These spasms are often excruciating. Implanted in the levator muscle, retropubic slings can cause pelvic floor muscle spasms that may interfere with walking. In the case of the transobturator sling or mini sling, where it is implanted in the obturator internus muscle, painful spasms can also inhibit mobility. We see that not only with the obturator nerve, but with other nerves, where the initial pain starts as the muscle spasm. And eventually with time when this muscle spasms around the nerve, the pain will then start in the nerve itself. And then patients will have pain both in the muscle and in the nerve. Along with muscle pain, there can be nerve pain or neuralgia, which is sharp, intense, and occurs spontaneously. In the pelvis, neuralgias can involve the obturator or pudendal nerve, specifically in its lower branch, called the dorsal clitoral nerve. We see that not only with the obturator nerve, but with other nerves, where the initial pain starts as the muscle spasm. And eventually with time when this muscle spasms around the nerve, the pain will then start in the nerve itself. And then patients will have pain both in the muscle and in the nerve. With pudendal neuralgia or obturator neuralgia, women can experience pain by simply sitting, a burning with urination, or pain with bowel movement. Also, pain may occur during sexual arousal, intercourse, and orgasm. If left unchecked and untreated, chronic pelvic pain can develop beyond specific areas, becoming compartmentalized. It's known as CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. So those are the patients that over time develop this centralized pain. And by centralized, I mean pain that exists in the central nervous system. So it is almost a condition where you may completely treat the, the pain in the pelvis, but the pain is still present in the central nervous system. Any type of, of injury to the pelvis, including mesh, may cause that pain. Additionally, centralization of pain can be caused by the individual's response to the presence of foreign bodies, meaning the synthetic mesh itself. Dr. Hibner explains how that occurs. With muscle spasm, there is ischemia, so there's decreased blood flow to the area. On top of that, there is a foreign body reaction and uh, probably reaction to the actual chemical of polypropylene itself. So all this mechanism may lead to uh, development of complex regional pain syndrome or centralization of pain in the central nervous system.